trade is always concerning that you don't want to drop it onto the bedways so if you can turn the headstock out of the bowl it's the way to do it. Alright so time to hollow this out. Uh, this is the next day. I left it overnight. Nothing's moved it. So let's get this hollowed out. screw in there as well. Wow. I hadn't realized this but I guess a screw had snapped off into this blank uh, at some point. I'm not sure when. So I'm going to take a drill bit and drill around either side of it. And hopefully I can pull that out. And there it is, that was stuck inside the blank. Okay, so since I hit a screw with my bowl gouge, this is definitely gonna need resharpening. I wouldn't even bother trying to continue without sharpening it again. So I'll get this sharpened and then we'll get back to hollowing this out now that that screw is removed.
Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got here. I've basically hollowed it out to where I want it. I made some pencil marks in there for sanding purposes. Um, there's a nasty crack there on the inside and here and here and here. There's quite a few cracks, but that's good because I can then add the blue to that as well. Um, the outside has actually vibrated and come loose. So this crack here, I'm going to have to repair that. I only just noticed that now. And here also. So, oh, I've got some repairs to do on the outside. Which means I'll end up having to redo the outside again, and that's not that big of a deal. It is what it is. Um, gives me an opportunity to fix that other piece that I wanted to put some blue in, I guess. I just noticed that. Damn. Okay, so this is really punky here on the end grain. Right in through here and in through here. Super punky. It's very, very dry though. But it's not cutting good at all with at all. It wasn't cutting great. Um, it was coming off in chips, not in strands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start sanding this probably at 60 grit until I get a nice even smooth surface. I'm going to sand the outside again at 60 grit as well. Um, actually I'll probably go to 220. I'll start at 220 and then work my way up. I want to get this bowl finished. It's frustrating right now, but it is what it is. The cracks are here. I'm going to have to fill them with the blue. We'll see what we come up with. So I'll get this sanded until I get an even surface over the whole piece, and then I'll come back to you. I have sanded this to 80 grit, just to 80 grit, just to kind of even it out somewhat. And I've opened up some of the cracks, well, all of the cracks that are in there. Um, and I'm going to now fill those with the same blue pigment as I used on the outside and then CA fill them with the thin CA so that I can come back again with 80 grit and sand it smooth to get the same effect as the outside. Now the outside still needs to be um, redone as well to some extent because a couple of the spots have cracked. I'm actually quite lucky I think that this bowl hasn't come apart on me yet. Hopefully that continues that way. But we'll find out, I guess. Uh, hopefully it doesn't come apart on me. Um, I'm going to sand the outside to 220, at 220, and then I'm going to CA fill all of the cracks that are still remaining. Okay, so this bowl is proving to be quite ugly. It's causing me a lot of problems with the cracks and the uh, CA glue being very hard compared to the punky wood. Um, but I still want to persevere and get this piece finished. So I've managed to get the blue and the glue in everywhere I think I want it. But I'm going to now wet sand it through the grits because it's extremely dusty, punky, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, this has now been sanded down to, I went to 400 grit. It is lovely and smooth now, quite happy with it. Um, it's got some dirt in the wood still, so I'm going to take some denatured alcohol and remove the uh, dust and the oil and everything from the surface. This will take a few minutes to get it all out because uh, I want to then get myelin sanding sealer, the cellulose based and seal it before I finish it. So we're going to get all of that dirt out of the wood. 
Okay, so that is now clean. There's no more oil on the surface. There's no dust on the surface. So we're ready now to seal it with uh, Mylan's cellulose based sanding sealer. We're going to put a lot of this on, get as much of it to soak into the wood as we can. Get a fresh paper towel and we'll start wiping this in. I don't see any tear out, there is no tear out. I'm excited to get this finished, I think it's going to look quite nice. So having been sanded to 400 grit and then cleaned and then sealed, I've let it dry, I've burnished it a little bit, and now I'm going to denib it with this so it all goes back to a dull finish, but it's going to be an even finish. So just in slow speed, I'm just going to cut that back. All that sealer is doing is sealing the end grain. It's all I want it to do. I don't want it to be the finish. Just to evenly seal the wood so that it's smooth. And if you look at it, it just looks the same across the whole piece of wood. I don't want to see dull and shiny spots. I know I mentioned this before. So now we're at a point where we can go ahead and use Yorkshire grit. We'll just clean off the excess dust from that. I'm not worried about cleaning it now. It's with denatured alcohol, it's good. Just have one last look at that. I'm quite happy with that. And now I'm going to use the Yorkshire grit original and microfine. So we're going to coat the whole piece in a thin layer. Once again, doing the outside, and this time doing the inside also. This will nourish the wood to some extent, and also bring out the luster and bring it to a much finer grit of sanding. Okay, so in slow speed, we'll get that started. Work the grit in. Slowly bring the speed up. That's 400. Now we're going to about 700. Letting the grit do its job. With a bigger piece it's obviously going to take longer. Bring the speed up from 400 to about 700.
and increasing again. Okay, so it's coming along quite nicely. It's been uh, a challenge, to say the least, to get it even to this point. Uh, now it's time to start putting the bling on. Um, Hampshire sheen glass and then the microcrystal wax. So you know the routine, we'll apply this over the whole piece. Nice thin layer, let it dry. And then uh, burnish it into the wood. And get that nice high gloss sheen. Got that coated all over, I'll let that dry. And uh, then we'll buff it in. And we'll let that dry and then we'll just buff it a little bit with some Yorkshire grit and put some Hampshire Sheen gloss on just buffing it by hand and thanks so much for watching there it is my uh, Hawaiian almond calabash bowl I've called it Aloha almond from Hawaii calabash bowl and that is it finished completely folks with my logo on the bottom I'm quite happy with the way that turned out after the first failed attempt at doing the logo but there it is. That is going to sit on my table at home. I'm keeping this one. That's a keeper as far as I'm concerned. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell if you like this video and you want to see more. Uh, you'll be notified of further videos coming up. I do have a crotch. Um, what is it? Crotch warner, a walnut crotch and possibly a maple crotch. Uh, return that's after it was wet turned so there'll be uh, a second turn for both of those bowls coming up shortly um take care bye for now